from the Hill Country of Texas, this is One Radio Network. Well, I knew I was in the Hill Country when I woke up this morning and thought I was in heaven, but I was really... <laughs> In the hill country of Texas, and this is One Radio Network. In case you're setting the watch by uh, by us, I we are a couple minutes late tonight. (laughs) Boy, it was uh, quite a day, but uh, hey, you know that's what it is. What it is. What it is. And good evening to you, One Radio Network. We're here every evening between seven and eight o'clock Central Time. And my name is Patrick Timpone. I have an old friend of mine who's going to join us tonight. He's uh, driving home. He's in his car. Hi, Don Jansen. How are you? How are things in Florida? Oh, just fine. It's a beautiful evening, and I'm just heading home. I'll be home in about five minutes. Uh Uh-huh. And what part of Florida are you in? I'm in Fort Myers, the west coast of Florida, down almost to the tip. It's the tropic zone. Well, Don Jansen, uh, you and I met up, I guess, I don't know how long ago. It's been probably 10 years now. I don't know. It seems like that. Long time. And Don Jansen has been in, in, involved in doing research and working with ocean-grown vegetables technology for how long now, Don? Uh, almost 30 years. Two years, it'll be 30 years. 28. 30 years, really? Yeah. I had no idea it was that long. I came in 1980 and been doing it ever since. Yeah. Don Jansen, you grew uh, an amazing amount of vegetables using yes. uh, diluted ocean water. Is that right? That I did for most of the time, about twenty of the years I did uh, had gardens and hydroponic farms and yes. Hydroponic. Yes. And uh-huh. so, so without, without soil. Without soil. So that's where you would uh, essentially mix a uh, particular amount of the ocean water, pure ocean water, with right. a set amount of water, and you would get a a particular amount of the total dissolved solids, or what would be the amount of minerals. And then right. th- that's what you used to as, as a growing medium for the uh, vegetables in a hydroponic situation. Is that correct? Yes, uh, because ocean water carries all 90 elements of the universe in the water, balanced out. And, of course, Dr. Maynard Murray taught me that when I bought his farm in the 80s. And, and uh, I learned from him, and he discovered it and researched it all over the world. And the fact that it's excellent fertilizer, you dilute it down, it, uh, only several, you know, kelp, seaweed, uh, coconut trees, they take it straight. It's very high and concentrated of minerals. Well, when you do it down with clean water, I usually use rainwater, then I get a phenomenal fertilizer. Mm-hmm. And I just feed the plants. I've done it on farms and all kinds of situations. Mm-hmm. Now, you uh, you mix it, say, if you're mixing it with the rainwater, just so we can get an idea of the kind of percentages, even though you do use your meter to figure out exactly, uh, per every gallon of rainwater, uh, how much average do you put in the ocean water? I put in about five, six ounces uh, with one gallon of rainwater. Five to six ounces. Ounces of ocean water. Uh-huh. Yeah. I said, so if I sell you a, a, a gallon of ocean water that I get that's clean, anybody can pick it up from the shore, but it's pretty dirty along the shore. You need to go out and make some effort to get away from the coastline, and then you get better water. Of course, the Gulf is pretty contaminated, so I don't know if there's any good in there, but I go out in the Atlantic and uh, get a gallon of that, and uh, it's clean. We send a, a sample to the lab to check it, and there's 80 toxins in coastal waters these labs know of. So they uh, check against it, see if I have that in there. And I don't. And you don't have any in there? No, not and, found, not found, all 80 of them. And um, so that five ounces of, of ocean water per gallon, when you have a total dissolved solids meter, what what does that give you? Uh, about how many? 1,500 parts per million. About 1,500 that's a good starting point because the plants should not have too much when they start off. And uh, they can, pretty much most of them can live between 1,500 and 2,000. Right. But uh, special ones like tomatoes and certain ones can go up to three. But uh, 
some plants like orchids can't take 700 parts per million and they burn up. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. Herbs, herbs and flowers are very delicate, so you've got to be in a slower. But uh-huh. just in vegetables, 1,500 is a good number for almost all of them. Right. I hope you're going to get home soon. We've got a really bad connection. It's, it's, it's kind of breaking up. Um, oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, once you get home, uh, we'll get you into a, okay. to a, a real good... We'll yeah. have you walk around the house until it really gets clear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah, and speak- I'm home now. I'll be on it in a second. Okay, good. Okay, okay, if you just joined us, I know I can see a bunch of you just popped on. Welcome. Good evening. It's a little bit after 7 Central Time. This is One Radio Network, and you're in for a real treat. Don't go away, because Don Jansen is here, and he's been working with ocean-grown technology, using ocean water to get minerals into your plants for a very long time, almost 30 years. And this is like, this is, uh, well, I don't want to get dramatic here, but this is where the rubber meets the road. This is the real deal. Because if you can get this broad spectrum of minerals in your body uh, from the ocean, because in the ocean the minerals are, Don Jansen, they're, they're, they're the exact proportion as a human body. Is that correct? Yes. The ocean water is much like our own blood. And, and, and they've used it for that. The doctors in the military have actually injected when they had no serum or no blood tra- plasma, they uh, injected ocean water into soldiers that were dying, and it helped them immensely. They could take it. They actually, <laughs> it's not recommended frequently to do that, but it was a lifesaver. They actually put pu- ocean water. pure ocean water or diluted? Diluted down. D- diluted down. And it fit right in their bloodstream, and they saved guys and brought them back to life. Man, that's, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's very much... Uh, it, it's. It's uh, proportionate, like our plasma in our blood should be. Uh-huh. But, of course, we're missing a lot of the elements, so not all blood is that way. It's missing most of the elements, and that's the problem. That's why we're sick. Yeah. Yeah. Our telephone number is 888-1-NET-6, 888-1-NET-6. We'll either pick it up live on the air, you can ask a question, or if I put you on hold, then that means that you're ready to go. You'll hear the program on hold. Don't hang up, and we'll get you on. My name is Patrick Timpone with Don Jansen. Are you home yet? Yes, yes you're... I'm hooked up. Everything's fine. Okay, you're, you're, you're fine. It's still not the best in ever collect, uh, connection, but, hey, uh, it's going to be what it is. I want you to talk right into the phone and nice and loud so so we can pick you up here, okay? Okay, great. Okay, good. Um so, so, uh, so you use this ocean-grown technology in Florida, and uh, tell us about the setup you had there, and how, what kind of a uh, an abundance of vegetables that you you grew a lot of vegetables. Well, I bought the doctor's farm, which was five acres, and in the first year, I thought oh, that wasn't big enough. I started growing tomatoes and cucumbers and beans. And the stores right away wanted more and more and more, and I didn't have enough land. It was just, I was done, finished right away. And they said, oh, you could use more of that every bit of your stuff fell. And because it was so nutritious and full of elements. Don, can you move around somewhere? Because you're cutting out on us. Uh, okay. You, you're cutting out on us. Um, okay, let me try again. Can you hear me better now? Uh, right now, yeah. Uh, I'll let you know. Um, go ahead. So, so you had five acres, right? Yeah, and it uh, it wasn't enough. People were asking for more. So then, I quit that farm, sold it, and bought a fifth, a twelve acre farm, uh-huh. twelve acres of hydroponics. And it was a abandoned farm, and I had to clean it up. But I got uh, five acres totally productive out of eleven, and uh, it was incredible what I produced. I mean. An acre of hydroponics is so much more fruitful than an acre of land. You can get so much more because you bring the fertilizer to the plant. The plants can be put much closer together. 